Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Got this beautiful street glide in for a wire and rescue. Let's check out what's going on. So he's not happy with the way it sounds and his biggest concern is the speakers they use aren't weatherproof. When it rains, water goes through the speaker and fills up his bag with water. So we're gonna do a weatherproof eight inch in the lid. He's got really good equipment, but he does not have enough power to run it. He's running a couple of Rockford 400s for, he's got four eight inch mid range in the bags, eight inch in the lid, six and a half in the pods, six and a half in the fairing, all run off two 400 watt amps. Absolutely not enough power and there's no DSP. We're gonna fix that. Well, that's not a good place to put a ground because now we can't take the gas tank off. So we're gonna have to move that. It's gonna take a minute to get to this battery because it's buried. All this stuff should be under one of the side covers. Like these are supposed to be quick disconnects. There's nothing quick about this. Everything's in the way. That's not good. There's space behind the batteries to put all the modules for the turn signals. There's space on the side to do all the power and Anderson quick disconnects. This is insane. Okay, we haven't taken it apart yet, but I already know that these are car speakers in here because I could see the crossover glued to the inside of the pod. But uh, the front is just as messy as the back. We have wires jumped into the plug along with the power wires. Client's given us permission to remove the three 400 watt amps. So there's an amp in the fairing, there's an amp in this saddlebag, there's an amp in this saddlebag. None of this stuff in this saddlebag works, so we're gonna pull everything out. He gave us permission to rewire everything. And then we're just gonna do two sound digital amps in the fairing. So we're gonna get over 1600 watts in the fairing where he had 1200 watts spread out all across the bike. So here's the before. Not a good spot for the DSP. We're gonna move the DSP over there where it belongs. We're gonna make it right. See, stuff like this does not make sense to me. If you have a quick disconnect at the amplifier, why do you also need quick disconnects at the speaker wire six inches away? And quick disconnects inside the bag, so you gotta pop the grommet out to take the bags off. Any better on this side, Gio? No. better on this side and the funny part is this is the messy side and that's the side to stop playing now how is the client supposed to take the bag off to service the bike or if he's stuck on the middle of the road so we have quick disconnect on some but this one no quick disconnect because I guess they broke the RCA and then soldered it. So now, oh my god, that one can't come off. This one can, that one can. Oh my god, uh, that one can, but. Baby hands. <laughs> Maybe they glued it. All right. All right, we got all of them off. 
Hey, look at that one. That one's rubbing on the tire. We have a winner. Huh? It's probably why the other side stopped playing. But uh, that one don't come off, and this one don't come off. So pass me the cutters. Now the bag comes off. Let me see that. That's no good. All right, just like I thought, car speakers, some aluminum wire, and there's the car crossover. At least the other side was glued. This one's just thrown in there. So I'm sure it's banging around, making a lot of noise. Right, I'm gonna pull it all out. everything in the fairing now. Bird's nest of wires is cleaned up. Inside the bags, nice and clean. Robert's bike came in as a wiring rescue. We were more concerned with making the bike safe and making everything play and taking the amps out of the saddlebags, putting everything in the fairing and making it reliable. So we tried to work with everything that he had. He had the bike for a week. Then he called me and wanted to see if I could make some adjustments because he just wasn't getting enough base. It wasn't the, the install. The issue was the previous shop had installed mid-range speakers with tweeters these are full range speakers in the bag facing the rear wheel and there was four of them diamond audio makes a great product this is their hxm8 these are great for the lid they're weather resistant they sound amazing they play loud they're neomagnet but the previous shop installed them in the saddlebags facing the rear wheel you're not going to produce bass with a full range speaker this is a coaxial speaker to produce bass, and it doesn't matter what brand you use, but you need a mid-bass driver like this one. So we went ahead and removed the four Diamond Audio coaxials and installed four Hertz 200Ls. The bike sounds amazing. Now the job is complete, complete wiring rescue. Bike sounds great. The install looks great, it's solid. No more amps in the saddlebags. And now he has mid-bass drivers in the bag producing mid-bass.